Welcome back, it's Paracutes here. We're playing Mordekaiser. I've got him at uh, two stars here, and uh, we've uh, cleared all the adventures up to Aurelian Soul, so we're going to challenge him next. Um, I actually have been playing the Mordekaiser quite a bit, um, both for the weeklies and then also um, because I was doing my 30-minute challenge, so I, did, I redid a few of the runs, and uh, he's actually up to level 25. I usually are, I'm not that high when I do my first Aurelian Soul challenge with a champion. So just to go over his star powers, um, I have him at star power two. His star power one is um, he gets an indestructible spell that costs two mana every attack token. And um, that basically is a burst speed uh, grant deathless to a unit. And then I believe his three star is he gets it every turn. I'll just double check it. Yeah, that's correct. So his three star is he'll get the indestructible every turn. And then his two star, in addition to the extra starting mana, when an ally is revived, and that will include Deathless, of course, um, it will get uh, plus two, plus zero, and overwhelm. This is really important. It really does help to push the uh, the damage with, uh, with Mordekaiser. Otherwise, um, he can be a little bit slow and a little bit hard to close out, but the... Uh, but the uh, overwhelm damage, uh, or the overwhelm, helps a lot to get the push the damage through. In terms of relics, um, Mordekaiser loves epic relics, and I don't have the ones he loves. I think his best relic is going to be Starforged Gauntlets because he's Titanic, so you're basically just starting with an extra mana. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it, so uh, we can't use it. I think his second best ma uh, epic. A relic, not just epic, but second best relic is going to be Disciple of Shadows um, because he doesn't mind killing his own stuff since when he's in play, anything that you kill of your own is going to get revived. But um, and then he'll get he'll come down for cheaper. But again, I, I don't have this, so unfortunately, we don't have that. So the next best is Packed Powder or Scourge's Stash. Obviously, the Packed Powder is just a better Scourge's Stash, so that's what I'm using here. Um, Wicked Harvest is incredible on Mordekaiser uh, because you like killing your own stuff since it's coming back anyways and it just basically is going to kill their stuff. So um, I think probably the best build for him is going to be Starforged Wicked Harvest. Although like his best, best, best build will probably be Starforged plus Disciple plus Wicked Harvest. I think you can if you use all three of those, he actually it just becomes insane. But we don't have those epics, so we're gonna go with Packed Powder, Wicked Harvest, and then I've only got the common slot for the third, so I don't think there's any commons that he really needs, so we'll just go with Z Drive here. Um yeah, I mean this is a pretty slow deck, so I don't know how well it's gonna fare against Aurelian Soul here. Um I may honestly just have to convert this to a triple Z Drive deck. <laughs> Because uh, it's very possible that specifically for Aurelian Soul, the win condition is going to be not Mordekaiser. Basically just picking a strong support champion that can beat Aurelian Soul. But we're going to try this build first. We'll try him like this. It is going to be rough though. It's going to be pretty slow. Alright, let's head over to Targon and face the big dragon. We need really good powers to carry this run. Um, you know, we are quite the underdog. And unfortunately, a couple extra 1-4s or challengers is not going to cut it. We, so we need to roll. Oof. So these are very good, but not broken powers. Um, for other champions, something like Hold Them Off would be completely acceptable. And Titanic Wake is also very interesting because the Mordekaiser does actually get to use it. But boy, I don't know how quick I can get the Mordekaiser out. I think it's going to be too slow for Titanic Wake. None of the other units are that close to Titanic. Um, Malad is the closest at 4 mana, 5 attack. Uh, actually, I think the Chronicler is also 5 attack. Yeah, same. Same deal. 4 mana, 5 attack. So they're still both three away from Titanic. 
I, I can't do it on this map. If it was a different adventure, I definitely would consider the Titanic just to get the more to bigger. But for this specific map, for Asol, it's not going to do anything. Uh, Chrono Break, again, if it was another champion, I would be happy with Chrono. I'm just not that sure it's going to be that great for Mordekaiser. All right, we're going to take the, uh, the Frostbite and kind of hope we can find some good stuff along the way. I'm going to start with a little bit of Ezreal. Wait, where are we going? Actually, this is kind of a bad matchup for me. Uh, Deathless, when they revive, they come back with 1 HP, which means that, unfortunately, Ezreal is just going to start picking stuff off. We're going to keep the Mist Call uh, because it ramps us. It has the uh, Sapphire Crystal attached to it, which is going to help a lot to uh, ramp our mana. So we pass, they static, and then we summon the Yuge. I will do this first because if they have um, Gotcha, I'd much rather them kill a Deathless than, than the Grenadier. They have scout on that. That does like nothing. <laughs> um, I mean, they they still have to static. Oh, so they did have the gotcha. So we we are smart. SMRT. Unfortunately, they can static this one. So we can indestructible, or we could develop. If we develop, it'll go to a 2-2, two -two, which means we have to trade, which is no good. Okay, so they Excuse me? they do this. That's fine. Um, huh. Okay, I, I have an idea. So we'll just miss call here. We'll just miss call. I mean, it, we could even do it now. It doesn't matter. And we'll take the three damage. And then if they... This makes them not be able to scout attack. <clears throat> so if they Ezreal, he's going to be a 2-6. Thankfully, he only got Thieves tools. Which is really good for us. So 2-6. Uh, we're going to put out him. But I mean, they're going to static him, I think. I mean, it is what it is. We need to kill the Ez. Actually, we do have we have mana for this guy too. Why? Oh, they they can't static. Oh, okay, that's great. So first Ezreal is dead. They're going after that. I'm not going to deathless the spider. That's fine. There is no end. <clears throat> what we will do is we'll... We'll deathless this. And then revive it. So we have one copy that actually has the normal health and one that's one health. Don't blink. They do have another Ezreal. Nothing we can do about this. It's not bragging if you could back it up. And they're gonna steal a card. Nailed it. So, on if we open attack, what do we have? Fourteen. Yeah, we can we can lethal him from here. So we will do the open attack. Hopefully they don't have a gotcha. They don't even have a static. Their hand was too fucked. I just realized. Okay, this is good. We're gonna just put these out. So now when these die, they it's game over. Watch and learn. And I mean, we can do that right now. <laughs> we can do that right now. They lose. Nice. 
Okay. We got through the first match without a support, which is a big deal because I think support is going to help us a lot. We're going to roll aggressively for a good support here. Hmm. These are not helpful at all. But I don't think I can afford rolls. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, unfortunately, the, the deathless item, Immortal, doesn't work. So uh, uh, granting or applying deathless to a unit works fine. But the literal deathless item that you can pick up on a unit is bugged and doesn't work. So we basically have a plus one, plus zero on it, and that's it. Yumi, Poro King, Tom Kench. Yumi with regen is really interesting. But I don't know if it's ace all interesting is the problem. Poro King is not okay. Tom Kench as a carry is unfortunately not good enough. It works, you just need to proc it at exact health damage. Is that right? Okay, thanks Lolaine. I didn't know that. Um, okay, so is Yumi going to be good enough? I got to think about that. I don't think so. Man, if I had Starforge Gauntlet, I could definitely make an argument for the Yumi. But no, without it, I don't think so. Okay, let's try to find a LeBlanc, Sivir, Jax, Vayne. Uh, Vayne is... can be good enough. Honestly, Gangplank could as well, if we can get him cheaper. But six is a damn lot of mana. Elise is really nice on other adventures because you're doubling up on the Vile Feast. But... Elise and Brood are going to be pretty useless on this map, so she's not really pickable here. Man, this is not a terrible vein, it's just the regen is pretty useless. I can't do the Gangplank, 6 mana is too much. Hmm. I think I have to roll this. Uh, unfortunately, regen is not good enough for the vein. Oh boy, this is not good either. We got a 7, a 6, and a 5 cost champion. Nope. This is a roll. I can't take these. Not even the Aatrox. Oh dear. I mean, at least the Vi is getting cheaper. Okay, we can do the Vi. Frozen Thrall with the capture is not the worst either. But the Lysandra can't carry me, not with the Thieves tools. Okay, I mean, the uh, the Wardens is not too bad here either, so hopefully Vi can do this for us. Okay, so shop, cut, or money. We need powers. We will Trust do this. But your strength. Even common powers can help us. If we can find an overwhelm, that actually does go a good distance with the Vi. We really need the Vi. If we keep both Mords, it's a guaranteed Vi pick, but I mean, then we have two dead cards in hand, and that's no good. Okay, we got the Vi. Excellent. I hope we do actually have enough cheap stuff to grow her here. Nothing escapes my kind of don't have a lot of cheap stuff. Like, we don't even have a turn for next play here. This, we do want to cut this if we possible. We don't even have a turn here. That is gross. We burn a mana. 
The Winter's Claw strikes! Feel no fear, show no mercy! Words to that is a problem. For sure. My plan is in motion. They will not swing. Wow. Well, we just saved ourselves 9 HP. I think we go 4 plus Miss Call. Yep. Tis what we do. Put a deathless on him, so this is fine. Prove your worth. Okay, the this is all great. Uh, she's getting big. This is good. I don't know why. I mean. I was going to say I don't know why they have suit up because it doesn't actually make sense with the fly package they give you, but I guess the reason they give it to you is because it literally has their fists on it. But it makes no sense with the package they give you. Okay, little pearl will do this and then we'll do this one here. What if we just moored here? I mean, it's a full clear, right? If I pass, will they play? I mean, they have to play, right? Yeah. It's not a big play, though. Didn't make a difference. And now we do this. Full clear. Alright, I mean, I guess we're not winning through the Vi. <laughs> it actually was the Mordekaiser all along. Neat. You played with Pike as a self-imposed challenge? Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> that sounds awful. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean... We win. And the Zavai did nothing. But... She... She was the backup plan, so it's all good. Honestly, she was the primary plan. <laughs> Mordekaiser was the backup plan. <laughs> and he worked out well. I do like the trinket. With uh, the epic granting, we might be able to find uh, some elusives to push uh, more damage. Chronicler can get a barrier. Stabilize is good, because I mean, now that we know uh, Vi is kind of our win con, if we double the Vi, that is a big deal. Hmm. Do we bother with this Chronicler? I feel like the answer is no. No, I mean I don't think the I don't think the barrier is enough to uh, to warrant even adding one more copy of him. I think if anything, he's very I likely going to be our second cut after the uh, suit up. Yeah, no, it's suit up and then chronicler. I'm pretty sure. the the night The neat thing about the chronicler is uh, we can use it on the shadowed. Um, Vi, so that we have two copies of Vi, but I mean, that is so late game that I don't think it's ever going to happen. I really hope we can find some mana ramp too. Just keeping the peace. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Clear? Move out. Mm, we're gonna 
to make this trade. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. I actually don't know. I mean, I actually, no, I do know. We're going to just let her hit us and then freeze her to death. I'm probably playing Vi next turn. Or we can Mord. No, I want to play the Vi. So we'll do this. And this. One girl wrecking crew. By my okay. honor, you must die. And then we do this. Who's gonna get in my way? And they're at four. Amazing. Okay. What if I No, it doesn't change much. Trouble coming at ya. Get back here. But I mean, this Fiora is now frozen, so... She's not doing much. Your move. Okay. I guess she's doing a little bit. Strike, quit, try me. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's burn him for one. There, now these guys are almost lethal. <laughs> God damn, that's a, that's a big Fiora. Good thing it's frozen, huh? If we didn't have Freeze, we would absolutely lose this fight, by the way. Like, I think we have zero chance of winning this fight. <laughs> she probably had... Um, single combats and cataclysms in hand and literally if her Fiora had any attack they probably could have won but freeze won us the game so we can take this because this is going to be our first cut it just means that our next fight is going to be rougher that's fine it's only Tom Kench we... okay we don't want that Oh no, we can cut now. Okay, let's just cut this now. Get this out of here. Jeez, how do we beat Tom? Hmm. Yeah, this is also going to be a nightmare of a fight. Oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. So he's probably gonna have Lobster Boy, Don't have to be or, to make a point. or a Seraphine, or a 412 Seraphine. Son of a bitch! That's not good. That is not good for us. Because they're gonna be dealt. Oh my god! Ah. Uh, Oh boy. Oh boy. This is really not good. This is very not good. They just went Seraphine into Viger into Tom. Oh boy. And our Vi is still a 5 4. Okay. Because if we freeze the Tom, he's just going to just eat everything. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Well, I mean... I guess we swing while we can. Okay, <clears throat> they heal. 
Tom cannot eat this turn. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's not Tom, it's Jinx coming out. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, when they when they have level up and they literally draw every champion, and good ones too, it's like, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Guess we're gonna do this and hope Tom doesn't eat it. Oh, they have the double draws, too. Okay, Tom cannot eat this turn. Good. They say these were from the protector himself. Sing it with me now. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I mean, on the bright side, it's a boss fight, so we will full heal after. You'll make a fine if I do this, it puts her at risk for... Oh, I mean, darkness is already four. Never mind. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Be brave. We gotta kill him before he heals. And then we open attack on uh, the Sarah. We can't even buy yet. Maybe we can buy. I don't know. No, we open attack before he starts eating stuff. We can ward this turn. Okay, they're at 15. Mr. Lee Sin. So what are we getting? What are we not getting? Okay, he's eating that. Sure. Allow me a small We have triple freeze now. Triple freeze is good. And the deathless item did work there with uh, the Morg revive on. Um, on the rhyme tusk. The frost reveals all to me. I am not where there's a will, there's a meal. Well, if it ain't the eyes of the operation. Suppose that makes you the guts, eh, big fella? What if I just do this? He will definitely level. Let's do it. This prison is yours. Let's do it. Sends chills up my spot. I am not done with you. To the ice. A moment to rest. <laughs> we have three rhyme tusks. Hail, old friend. I am not done with you. The gajillion Mordekaisers. Okay, I guess we win. Man, we are winning without the vibe. This is pretty wild. It's actually more to this carrying. Woe to the 
This is... This is surprising me. I did not think the Mordekaiser would be carrying this far into the run. But, I mean, I don't think this will keep happening. He is too slow. Unless we give him minus two cost. What if we give him minus two cost? Huh. Damn. That's interesting. The minus two cost on the Vi isn't going to be as applicable because we... We won't even have her that big by the time, uh... By the time we can play her. So yeah, I think it is actually on the Mord here. What is happening? We're actually building a Mord deck against Esol? Uh, that is very good too. We are building a Mord deck. We are going here because we are building a Mord deck and we need more huh? stuff for Mord. Perfect. Well, okay. <coughs> Let's see if we can find him a cleaver. I would love a cleaver on him. Gimme cleaver. So we don't want this. We don't want this. We want we actually do want Mord. We want Mord and Vi. We got the Vi. And we got the Mord. Perfect. So they're gonna rotate uh reductions here. We will take this trade all day. If they play another one drop, it doesn't grow. They don't. Perfect. Mama's home. Mm. There's really no need to vile this. We'll just pull it. Oh wait, they can play the... So we'll go to 2-3. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Oh, it goes to 3 4. Mm, less fine. She's up to 5 4. That kind of is good enough. They're going to play Poppy here for sure, for sure. So let's do let's do her. Vi stands for vicious. I just know the we do this. We do this. 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 How dare they? Get back here! We get back a baby vi, a little baby vi. What if I moored? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Damn. Yeah, I can't do anything about this. So we have we can get a one mana moored here. Okay, we can get a one man of more. So we'll do this. Pawns need a guiding hand. I hate your guts. I hope they trade here. Please trade there. Right. Okay, we moored. It's moored in time. Beware, my lord. Mila come for your armor. Do I look concerned, my lads? I am not. We are gonna lose some stuff because of the ephemerals, but <laughs> it's a lot of eye. That'd be a lot of eyes. I am not done with you. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do it in that order. I don't know. 
I can't believe we have one mana Mordekaisers though. Oh wait, only only one of these are ephemeral. This is great. I thought uh, some of these vies were ephemeral. You best believe I don't play. <laughs> so many fists. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Oh my god, this is this is Dunzo. So we have Quad Rupal Vi. Holy moly. That is a Vi army. Uh, you took a level 7 Mord into Asol with Cosmic Pearl and got an amazing LeBlanc. Nice. That is nice. Yeah, I was hoping for a LeBlanc. I, I rolled pretty hard for my support champion, but... I ended up taking the Vi, and the funny thing is, it's actually Mordekaiser is carrying me. Okay, so we'll take the Flash. And come on, Cleaver. Hmm... Reckoners is not what I'm looking for. Iceborne is not exactly what I'm looking for either because because it has Shadow Totem or not Shadow Totem, um, uh, not Shadow Totem, uh, Stabilize. I don't really like the uh, Iceborne here. Okay, we're gonna roll this, please, cleaver me. Aha. Okay. Well. Now we really do have the cheapest Mordekaisers ever. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. I'm on the case. <laughs> I mean, where is he? It's pretty good. Three mana Mordekaiser that becomes one mana as soon as they hit their nexus. Pretty good. That's the plunder relic, yeah. Yeah, it's the better Scourge's stash. This is pretty crazy, actually. Also, we have a uh, black market discount, so our Mordekaisers could even be, like, cheaper here. Actually, they are cheaper now. I smell a rat. Okay. He'll die to a bomb. But if it does, it's kind of funny, because then it just procs my Mordekaiser. <laughs> for zero. Hot on the trail. Yeah, they do not like to... This is so good. So I'm able to, like, trick them into not swinging here. Which is good, because now she's frozen. Okay, I, do, I want a Mordekaiser. So the best way to do this is with this. Death, ruin, vengeance. <laughs> If I do this, actually this is better, because then I can miss call too. And this thing will die. can't miss call? We can't miss call. I mean, I can still do it for the for the ramp. I can just give uh no, let's do this instead actually. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty damn good. I can't believe we're actually using Mordekaiser to clear a cell here. Don't even care. Peacemaker protocol. Not done yet. Don't even care. A worthy end. I am not done with you. Keep ramping me. Minus two. Oh, I'm not proccing this very well at all. So the better way is like this. Fall forever. Oh, that's way better. Okay. Now we wait. Well, what have we here? I mean, why not? <laughs> Three mana mord is much more appealing than seven cost one. I agree. I agree. <laughs> they should have just made him three mana to begin with. Easy peasy. There is a lot of bullshit happening, and I like it. <laughs> there, there is a lot of bullshit happening. taking so long not the best way to go under 30 minutes uh, you know what that's something i can worry about later i just want to get the w okay migo migo I am not done with you. <laughs> you are now in my throne. Yeah. Yeah. You are in his thrall. I don't want more copies of this because they're going to hit my black market discounts. So it's minion. It be minion. The coral is not bad. I mean, ramp is ramp. And treat is definitely okay. Hire is okay. Okay, so we'll take this. Do we want the coral? <clears throat> Yeah, actually, yeah. I mean, ramp is ramp. Ramp is always good. I don't think I need the entreat. I think we're drawing our champs pretty well here. So it's essentially two mana, just random two drop. No, we don't need the entreat. We're okay. Oh, yes, yes. More, more Mord. <laughs> Mordy Mord. Mordy 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 Mord. Gimme, give gimme give Mordy Mord. <laughs> Man, I'd love to just find something that just explodes his stats like a cleaver. Mana flow. Okay. Time to ramp to seven. 
Okay, see, this is the problem. We have to cut this girl because she's going to eat all the uh, black market discounts. My name will echo to the ages. It's so crazy that I could almost more turn one if I block with him. Almost. So, do I just take this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten damage. <laughs> Another Nomad's Metal? If I do, I, I probably put it on Vi, right? I would think. After them. After them. Jeez, they're a five mana already. Good thing they're doing stupid stuff like Arise. Victory at any cost. Thank you for throwing away a card and three mana. Together, we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. Okay, I'd rather not take four, though. Not now. If he goes super wide here with the six sand soldiers, I could be in trouble. I could be in trouble. He did exactly that. But I guess we do have Mord. Actually, thank god we have Mord here. Wow, Mord just saved our ass. Oh, we can even deathless him. Wow. I didn't realize how cheap he is. Thank you, Mord. You just saved my bacon. Hmm, guess we win. That's not going to work. You need a lot more of those. And by a lot more, one. But <laughs> one, but two is pushing a lot, so I think we're, we're okay there. Oh my god. That actually would have been a disaster if I couldn't play the Mord there. Thank you, Wicked Harvest. Thank you for being such a good relic. I can take this and cut it. This is fine. Yeah. That is indeed what we do. <laughs> Who said it? Who said it in chat that we they wanted another nomads? Gianfri. This is your fault, Gianfri. This is your fault. I don't want another one. <laughs> or do I? Maybe I do. Maybe. Maybe this is actually the best thing that could happen. <laughs> oh my gosh we have one mana mords that can easily become zero mana <laughs> always trust your speed the the annoying thing is i really do need to get him more stats because i mean a 5 8 is still not big enough for a salt but i guess i can't complain It's unstable. Yeah, this one is uh, a little dangerous. Yeah, we don't have the loot. Okay. Okay, it's barrier. Thank Thankfully, it's just barrier. It's just barrier. Just barrier. We can use... Who's our chump blocker here? Not coral. It's actually minion. Actually, we could do coral. And miss call? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh god, it's the Poros. Yeah, so we'll miss call. Get another spell. Oh, 
Actually, we are in trouble because the wide poros is going to make things a little awkward, but... I mean, it's not that bad. So pretty! Ours is the will of Ionia. Yeah, it's not that bad. Actually, we should do this now. Or no, we'll do this one. And then, uh, I think what we do is we open Mord, they play a Paro, and then we, we swing in. I think that's the play. Okay, so we open Mord. Man, imagine Qu Quietus actually worked how it used to, because we could have actually been able to free kill this Karma. But it was kind of broken. <clears throat> okay, no, this is good. So now we deathless him. Go like this. Go like this. And... Like this. They're at 18. Yeah, that's good enough. The frostbite? Yeah, the frostbite is saving our bacon. A clear mind knows true strength. See, this is the problem because these poros are about to become massive. I guess we should kill them before that happens, right? Okay, so hopefully they don't actually have Paros to grow. Another more, that's really good. Actually, that's really, really, really good. Okay, they're making her big. <laughs> they're making her defensive? Why? And they're snacking. Sure thing, boss. Okay. See how many units we can get them to bait out. They are out. <clears throat> is he leveled yet? Oh, he is leveled. Perfect. This has to be enough. I know they still like double cast it, but I mean, what are they gonna do against all these minions? <laughs> Crush and shatter. Yeah, minions go! So yeah, unstable karma is always scary because, I mean, elusive or overwhelming 
that's that's pretty much your uh, revive burnt off. Well, I don't think we can get him that much cheaper, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll this because uh, yeah, I don't want iceborns, or do I? Or do I? No, I don't think I do. Hmm. Do I want Iceborne? Just to push the damage. Hmm. Whew. That one's, that's a tough call. I think, I know, I think no. Death, Deathless will proc on Stabilize. Okay. We will do that then. Thank you. Yeah, Iceborne with Shadow Totem seems bad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's exactly correct, Tyrell. That's why I don't want to take it. Okay, we'll take the Deathless then. <laughs> do we? I mean, I don't think we're going to have the space to do that. Or do we have the space to do that? Just don't swing? I mean, that's the entire purpose of stabilizes. We need to push damage. I have to swing. Um, hmm. Yeah, I know. I don't think we even have the board space for the stabilize. Inheritance is interesting, but is it good? Hold it is not good. Because we already have the freeze. Inheritance? I think it's too slow, but I mean, I have no rolls, so it's either that or gearing. <clears throat> I think it is the gearing, actually. I need. Uh, do I need something? If I, if they, if I, if I, um, the problem is if we hit a Z duplicate, we, we lose, so gearing protects us against Z dupe. Yeah, we take the gearing here. Ooh, we've got a Draven dupe. Welcome to the League of Draven. Inheritance can go big? No, Inher Inheritance can't go big. We need to win by turn, like, three. This is Asol. We're building for Asol, man. If we're not winning by like turn three, we're we're dead. Okay. So let's do let's do this. See if this deathless procs or not. Does not. Uh, I should have rerolled. I should have rolled it. That was pointless then. That was pointless. I should have rolled it. One we will drain. The finest battle caster in Noxus steps up. Don't mind if I do. I could have done the miss call, but I mean, I, we're gonna get another deathless anyways. Should block with Mord. 
Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I could have blocked that with, with the Mord. Um, so we have... We have enough. We have enough here. Okay, we're good. We are good. Honestly, these gearheads are good. <laughs> Actually, these, these gearheads are better than I expected. I didn't expect them to get up to like sixes that quickly. Ooh, minus three on this? Or free, basically, on this. Eh, not really free, because the mord's so cheap. <laughs> the mord is too cheap. Um, hmm. Maybe this is good, actually. Hmm. Okay, we will take it. Nope, don't want those. That's a letdown for an epic shot, but we take it. On the bright side, it will grow the gear heads on turn one. Sure you can oh, look at that, Zed. Oh, it's it's a mana flow though. Sure you can Nonetheless, the gear heads are still going to be good there. They're going to be very good, actually. I don't. Yeah, we don't want double mord because then it's going to be the dis the spell that gets the discount. I mean, that's not even that bad. Vile now falls off. Uh, Realm of Death works as a free attack on Spell Shield. I don't know. That's a good question. I actually don't know. What if we uh, don't mord? Hmm. If I had Miss Call, that would. 100% be my play is block and miss call, but we don't have it. So we moored. Yeah, we moored. It's Morden time. Yeah, they don't even swing. So, will he come back this time now? No. No, his Deathless doesn't work! You guys were baiting me, his Deathless is not working. us close. I go wherever the waves take me. Swap more to second. Okay, I don't know what swap swapping more to second would have done. You grow a nexus hit. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right, I missed the damage. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Nothing feels better than the sun on your scales. Okay. Not exactly sure why they shot the Duffless one there. I will have to let some die here. Hmm. Honestly, I don't even need this one. We are playing for the S, so I don't want to take too much damage here. Okay, this is fine. Love ya. 
Oh shoot, it's double shots. Ah, I messed that up. I, I, I didn't realize that they're shooting me twice. Oopsies. Now I pack a punch. We'll do it the right the right way this time. My kind of party. Okay, I mean it's fine. We still heal the full. We still heal to full. Yeah, we need to put the more not on the far left. You are correct. Okay, we'll remember to not miss the damage. Hmm. Even though I don't want to draw a mallet, rally is rally. And I do like rally. Okay, so this said, I think we're going to be fine. Vile Feast does let me hit some elusives. But then again, Morg will also hit the elusives. Okay, so we're gonna hit the discounts on that. That's not even that bad, honestly. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna be brave boys and pass. I am the perfect in the darkness. Okay. Hmm. Plug and play. Or should we mortem first? If we mortem first, we can't do this. That's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm no, ready. let's do this first. Do not disappoint yeah, me. This makes me happy. So we can do this now. See, this is progress. Oh, yes, extra punish. Love it. I will bless you. Oh, I love it. I am not done with you. The order. Gotta take a hit. Unless we roll elusive off this, I guess. No, we're not that lucky. Night falls. Can you like Shadows calm gather. down? Okay, we're taking six. This actually jeopardizes the S rank. Oh my god. No, we're taking more than six. Oh my god, dude. Uh, You're left unguarded. That sucks. Take two more. Yeah, uh, this really jeopardizes the ass now. I mean, 
we can get him leveled, then we can heal back. this thing too did we just roll the same guy what the frick <laughs> okay I mean hopefully we can take this out with this but I mean depends shadows gather yeah let's let's just do it we'll just do it now this prison is yours Wouldn't it have been better to use it on the 7-4? That's true, actually, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right, because he probably would have been leveled now. Damn, you're right. Found a drain. Okay, let's actually no, let's see we can do this. So pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you're right. I, I missed um, one proc on this by not using a five or higher minion. Okay, so how do I slay my own stuff? Very expensive sleigh. <laughs> this is glorious. I am not done with you. But it does get us back to full. <laughs> the eight mana sleigh. <laughs> okay. All right. We're back to thirty five. We can get the S here. I think we can do it. I mean, as long as we can win, <laughs> which is actually still a very much in the air. I didn't even check what this ASOL is yet because I was too nervous. We're about to find out. All right, Aurelian Soul. Show me your power. Overwhelming. Okay, power overwhelming is very acceptable. Okay, come on, game. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We just have to do 50. We just have to do 50. We're at full HP. 
Splash is not terrible, but I don't know. I do want to keep the trinket, though. We have attack token, so we probably don't even want Grenadier. Okay, this is this is the keep. Just trinket. Okay, we need Mord. We need Mord. Okay, thank God. Okay. So, we have to push damage, which means we have to summon Mord. Or, we could do this first. First summon? Yeah. Um, we could do this first, but no, that doesn't make any sense. It does make sense. Nah, no, let's do it second. Okay, we're doing Mord. We're just doing Mord. We need to push damage. We can't pass. I am not done with you. Remake. They're doing nothing. I love that. I will take Drain. Okay, we got him to 24. Okay, now. If they roll... Okay, that's fine. If they roll an Overwhelm, what are we going to do? Wait, we have Freeze. We have Freeze. We have Freeze. We have freeze. The freeze will, freeze will freeze it. Okay, they didn't even... They missed anyways. Okay. Alright. I like this other Mord. I like it a lot. <coughs> we play our Rally. They're not gonna swing. I like that too. So different. I do like that. Okay. There's Darius. We can kill our Malat if we need to. Consider this. I'm gonna go like this. We need to keep him alive for now. Okay. Let's go like this. We have two ways of killing Malot, which is fantastic. One of them is only one mana, which is super good. And then we can... Oh, we can miss call the Malot potentially too. Ooh. But we might miss. There's a chance we could miss too. You're ruining everything. Not so fast. Okay. Okay, so Malad is not dying. He's getting silenced, but he's not dying either. Uh, we only have one created card. So we can't get him to six. Hmm. It still might be worth buffing these guys. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is it worth buffing these guys? Um, probably, I, honestly. So now, this, no, no. oh right, he's silenced, oh my god, that silence is brutal, <sighs> actually that silence was brutal, yeah, I'm ready. okay, we can still mort again though. Okay. 
Oh, please tell me I have a Malad on board. Did I order it wrong? Okay, no, we have a Malad. We have a Malad. I don't care if we have two or not. I just, as long as we have one. Oh, and he's leveled! Yes, okay, he's leveled too. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. GG! We did it! <laughs> yes! We had another rally, by the way. Oh, baby. That rally Malat was actually the key to success. I can't believe we we actually beat him with a Mordekaiser build around. But I mean, having a one mana Mordekaiser, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it only took triple medallion to do that. <laughs> Awesome. Oh my god. I'm actually so happy about that. I I was really fearing this fight. I really was worried that Mordekaiser was going to be super slow and Esau was going to be a nightmare. But yeah, Triple Nomad's Medallion will do it. <laughs> Whew. What a run. And to think, I was going to build around this Vi that we never used after, like, the fourth match. <laughs> oh, God. I like how he's even, like, the top of the list. It's like, he's literally the cheapest thing in my deck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, what a run. That was, that was fun. All right, so... That is all adventures cleared with Mordekaiser with S ranks. And then our next champion is going to be Elder Dragon. So we'll see how that one goes as well. Thank you guys so much for uh, for joining me today. Um, that was a blast. That was actually a lot of fun. I do like to challenge myself and that Mordekaiser run was very interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be playing Elder Dragon next and... Uh, We'll see if we can do some more streams this week. Okay, thanks a lot and take care.